No man is an island, but Google already is, at least in Sarasota, Florida. In a bit to become test site to Google's super high-speed fiber network, the beach town has taken drastic steps to, to attract their attention. They renamed City Island, a place where I used to hang out. They call it Google Island now. So why Sarasota over, say, Topeka, Kansas? Well, guess because what? Because they named an island Topeka after Topeka changed his name for a month. Let's talk to the man leading the charge, Rich Swire, <laughs> a local businessman and founder of the I Want Google Fiber in Sarasota campaign. Rich, have you thought up an acronym for that uh, uh, committee yet? Um, no, no, we haven't had the time. We've been too busy uh, <laughs> spreading, the, spreading the word. So tell us how you're going to get Google to, to come to Sarasota. Well we, uh, well, we think the sunshine speaks for itself down here. A lot of the other cities uh, around the nation that are vying for their attention are going to have a tough time competing with us down here. But, uh, you know, we're doing everything I think we can to uh, get them to pay attention to us. But at the end of the day, I think, uh, you know, our city and our county speaks for itself. We have some great assets down here, and I think we can make Google Fiber uh, really shine. Rich, why do you want it so bad? Is it really that big of a deal? It actually is. I mean, broadband is one of the key components to economic development and uh, you know our city just like other cities around the nation uh, really need a boost and having a gigabit fiber into our town would be a, a huge boost for jobs and also uh, allow us to attract more companies to move down here to Florida. Is it totally free? I mean help us understand what you're getting. You're getting the hardware, you're getting the fiber. What goes along with it? Well I mean I think what, what Google wants to do is work with existing providers and really move broadband to the next level. You know, we've, we've, we've been basically um, having broadband hasn't changed much for about 15 years. And I think they want to take it to the next level and so their applications can run faster. So uh, I, I believe that uh, it's not going to be free and I'm sure they're going to work with all the providers, incumbents and cities and counties here. But I, ultimately I think the, the end result will be um, great applications like voice and video on demand and things like that that really right. what Google wants to bring to the to the world. Right, you, you know, so it's really nice for you to rename the town and a producer told me there's something involving a local lizard that's getting a new name, a uh, Google or something. Is that, do you know anything about the lizard? Yeah, we've got, this whole town's gone Google crazy. <laughs> we've got, uh, you know, we've got a, a world famous daiquiri deck down on Siesta Keys has a Google daiquiri. Uh, a local sushi restaurant okay. has a Google role, and, the, and the, so yeah, I mean, everybody's right. trying to do their part. These are and, all very uh, nice wait, gestures, Rich, but what I want to know is, show me the money. Who is offering Google tax breaks to come in and get some kind of advantage for there locating the network in your town? Absolutely. I think that's going to be part of it. I mean, we're right now working day and night to get the application and submit it back to Google before the 26th deadline. I'm sure all of our leaders right. are, are, are thinking exactly like and you now, are. I want to warn you something now. In the early 1990s in Orlando, Florida, one of your neighboring towns there, the FSN, the full service network from Time Warner, was put in place and it heralded a new age of interactive television. Nothing happened. It went nowhere. Google might just drop this, right? I don't think so. I think they're very serious. I think um, right now, you know, they've been buying fiber up for five years. You know, they, they run terabyte networks just you know, to, to let their traffic get to ISPs quicker. Uh, they're very serious. This is not something they thought of, uh, you know, four weeks ago. They've Rich, been, they've been planning about, this for about six years. Rich, you want to talk about serious. I mean, you say you got sunshine, but I don't forget the video. We got the Duluth mayor taking a bath in 35 degree water. That's what commitment. I mean, that's commitment. You got to do better than that. You're, you're up against Duluth. You're up against Topeka. Uh. Look at the other Look guys in the water. I mean, there he's uh, covered water. from head to toe. Rich, this poor really? mayor, he risked yeah. his life for Google. How about swimming you? with the sharks, Rich? Yeah. Will you swim with the sharks? Yeah. That's a good so, idea. Well, well for, forgive, me, forgive me for not shaking my boots. I'm not sure we have to compete against Topeka and Duluth. I mean, oh. I, I don't know if you've been oh. there. But, oh. but, oh. but, <laughs> so no, hang on. We don't know what kind of tax breaks those other cities are giving. I mean, that yeah. may be what it really is. Really you're saying they're not in your league, Rich? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I don't know. Well, come, come, come down here and enjoy Siesta Key for a week. I'm sure, I'm sure we can convince Google the same. But I think we'll, we'll convince our mayor. We're, we're having a big uh, press conference next week. We'll convince our mayor to do something crazy, I'm sure. Any idea how much you guys have spent on the campaign so far? I mean, I saw, I saw the sign for Google Island that, you know, probably said you're back 100 yeah. bucks or something. Any idea how much yeah. really, though, is going into attracting them? Well, you know, everybody's contributing, so it's not just me. It's really a grassroots movement, so I can't take all the credit. I mean, I know, I know many, many parties are spending money. I mean, us personally here at the Hub, uh, our innovative uh, think tank here, we spent, you know, a few thousand dollars just putting together signs. We're, we're raising the flag uh, this week, and, you know, we're spending, you know, with brochures and posters and things, but I'm sure everybody's contributing. Okay.
Thanks very much. Rich, um, who is with that very aptly named You're right, group? It's going to come down to the I tax want Google breaks. Fiber in Sarasota. There's a catchy name. The Thank you very the much. The Times is what it is. Everybody, yeah. they're very desperate for economic development, and they'll That's do what true. it takes to bring the jobs. Yeah, talk about a shovel-ready job. I used to, I used to play guitar and drink beer on City the Island over there. <laughs> and straight ahead, the yacht club there is pretty nice.